Okay, ladies and gentlemen, boys, girls, all appropriate ages. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you may be. Hope you're staying safe and healthy. So, we're on week 27 of Nora's Choice. And that means new challenges. And, yeah, in case you see this and you're thinking, hmm, I thought you did all the nodes. I'm currently going through Steel Path and pretty much having to do it solo because... This one, a few things Orgis I have left to do in this game. Angry. Hmm. I may require maintenance after all. Between focus farming and one other thing I'll do in a second, it's pretty much the only other thing I've got left to do in this game is still path. And I've done Mercury. I mean, when Steel Path first came out, I did a video and I did Earth. And I did Venus. And last week, I finished off Mercury, Lua, a heart, almost finished with Mars. I've done Phobos. So I did what? One, two, three, three and a half planets last week. In between work and some VR games. So, not too bad. But Nora's choice. It's that time again, dreamers. Is it dreamers? So, complete five different steel files. Oh, thank you for giving me a challenge that involves my current objective. Complete three sorties. Easy enough. Six red. Well, I didn't do Sundays, so I've got one today, one this morning, one in the afternoon, and one Tuesday. Hmm. Huh. Six red gems or all in your Valis. Yeah, that's RNG. Three nightmare missions of any type. Not bad. Three rescue missions. Ah, just go to Mercury. Three exterminate missions. Do the crossfire exterminate missions in Mercury count? I'm not too sure. Find all three caches in three sabotage missions. Do the crossfire sabotage missions count in Mercury? Hmm. And a daily, kill 150 enemies with blast damage. Pretty straightforward. Now, is there a arcane helmet? No. No arcane helmet again. Next night wave DE, please, please. If you're gonna randomly throw in arcane helmets, do it more often. <sighs> I'm not touching these credits now till I see if there isn't another arcane helmet on the last week of Nightwave, then it's another Orokin Catalyst. Because I'm running low on those. Till then. So yeah, that pretty much covers it. Oh yeah, one other thing. DE, I'm not sure if it's just me or if it's happening to anyone else. But my daily Samaras task or the napalm. Regions, Mercury, Mars, Saturn, Uranus, Cirrus, and Sedna. Does not pop up. It's been two weeks and he has not been on any node on any of those planets. Either I'm just timing it badly or there's a bug with Samaras targets now. So, if anyone can tell me they're experiencing the same, or if I'm just unlucky with my timing, let me know. Because, yeah, it's a bit sus. Anyway. So 
So I've got Steel Path and Focus Farming to do. And my focus scores are pretty much all halfway each, so actually I think Narangon's yeah, Narangon's done apart from its unbindings. But the only other thing I really have left to do unlocks 43 of 61. I've just I've got another eight Warframes ready to subsume anyway. But let's have a look. Atlas, 200% ability strength and parkour, 75 parkour velocity. Pretty solid. Excalibur, 200% secondary crit damage and 2 energy rate. Yeah. And Grendel, 250% secondary damage and 75% ability efficiency. That'll be good for Feast. But, let's get the unlocked to 44, shall we? And that also plays into like uh, some of the Warframes that you got the blueprints from on Quest are now available through Cephalon Simaris. <clears throat> but if I can't get targets anymore to pop up in mission, I can't get the standing to get the target to get the blueprints. So... Other than doing Elite Sanctuary Onslaught, which you need a Samara Sigil in order for the standing from ESO to count towards Cephalon Samaris, there's no way of doing that. And I don't fancy uh, trading prime parts for platinum to just buy warframes I've already used. So it's a bit of a conundrum. A bit of a conundrum indeed. But something that can be solved. Do you bring out a patch for Samaras targets? Please. And with that being said, I shall see you all later.